the UK body for independent film production, PACT, asked Alma Economics to look at whether market failures are holding back UK independent film production. Let's start with supply and demand in cinemas for a UK independent film. The supply curve is the price of a ticket. The demand curve is how much people want to see the film at different ticket prices. But what if there are wider positive effects over and above those for the audience watching that film? After a lot of number crunching, it turns out that low-budget UK films made from 2010 to 2021 launched 77 film directors and 208 producers who went on to make other UK films. In stark contrast, films with budgets over £15 million launched just five new directors and producers. Whilst there are more UK filmmakers working on big films than small films, the number of new filmmakers is much bigger on small films. And while some of these filmmakers never make another film, the successful talent launched by small films makes a significant contribution to future UK filmmaking. For every £1 spent on making small films in the UK, a further 20p of future economic activity takes place just from the talent launched by these films. For large films, this figure is roughly zero. This talent incubation effect is not taken into account by financiers and the viewing public, and is leading to too few UK independent films being made. Given the ongoing decline in UK independent films, in the future, the launching of new talent for the UK screen sector will decline even further. To view the full report, click the link in the video description.